All right, what's going on, guys? It has been a while since I have last talked to you, and I gotta apologize for that. But you know, people got things to do, got responsibilities. I gotta go to school, I gotta go to work, I got other things I gotta take care of. But I'm here right now to give my takes on some of the recent events that's gone on at our favorite Ravens franchise team. Uh, that, that made no sense. I'm just going to skip past that. And let's talk about the two things that have happened. First of all, the Ravens deciding not to franchise C.J. Mosley. Was not surprised at all that they decided not to do that. That basically shows they're going all in. It's either they are going to give this man, they are going to give this man a long-term contract or they're letting him walk in free agency. Now, free agency doesn't start till the 13th. That's next week. I think next Wednesday, if I'm right. Yeah, next Wednesday, if I'm right. And, but teams can start talking to C.J. Mosley's agent at the 11th on Monday. So the time, the clock is ticking for the Ravens if they're going to make this legit and actually try to sign him. Eric DaCosta did come out and say he wants to get C.J. Mosley. So they're working on a deal right now for Mosley, and hopefully it goes through. If they can come on an agreement with it, then I'll be fine. But if C.J. Mosley, if they offer a deal and C.J.'s like, I think I'm worth more, I want to test free agency, then he's going to test free agency. It doesn't mean he doesn't end up coming back. It just means that you're likely not getting C.J. Mosley back because a lot of teams are waiting to get C.J. Mosley. If the Ravens don't pull this deal off, C.J. Mosley is going to be taken like that in free agency. A lot of teams would love C.J. Mosley, and they will go after him quick. So, choosing not to franchise him, I thought that was smart because they already planned on working a long-term deal with him. There was no need to franchise tag him. Work this long deal out now. Get it done before free agency starts, and everything will be all good. So that one's great. Now, the other news... Yeah, it's mixed feelings. Eric Weddle, safety, guy who's been in the last three years. Eric Weddle's gone, guys. They released him today. Officially released that guy today. He is gone. He will not be coming back here next season. He is heading to free agency, and it looks like he's not going to retire because he came out on Twitter, had a home message, thanking the franchise and how much he enjoyed his time here and how much he loved this Ravens nation, Ravens flock, and he's excited to see where him and his family are going next. So it seems like Weddle may play one or two more years. Anyone out there looking for another safety, they, he might get a market himself. But I am going to miss Weddle. I actually do have a video coming out. Hopefully I can get it out tonight, but you know me, anytime a Raven player is gone, I'm going to do a little mini movie of their highlights and greatest points. So, hopefully I can get that done today, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm really going to miss it, Weddle. His knowledge was there. No one questioned his knowledge. It's just, he couldn't keep up. His age wasn't able to keep up with these guys. Great leader, great leader. Smart guy, really intelligent player, knew the game, his, just knew the game, was very intelligent, smart, safety, knew how to play that position. But his age, he just can't keep up with these young guys. And this team's getting younger. This is actually making me happy now because it seems like Eric is making some big moves right off the back and showing us that he's trying to get younger for this team. Working on getting younger and developing our young players. Thank God. Oh my God, if this is a one step closer to making that true, then the Ravens team is really going in the right direction. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I just wanted to make this quick, at least let you guys know that, yes, I'm still alive. I know it's been a while, but I'm still alive. I've just been busy, and I'm trying to get more stuff out. I'm trying to create this other show and see how that goes, but I am still alive, guys. Plus, you know, it, you know this whole time, space... It's good enough time for me to try and make this channel better and get ready with in September for Season 2 of NFL Mania when all this stuff happens. And I'll be able to cover all the news and the games. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. And I gotta go work on this other video. But not before I eat, because I just got off work. I'm tired.